Hi there. In this particular video, what we are going to discuss is uh, how exactly cash and carry arbitrage works. So what I exactly mean here is we all know that forward prices are you know are derived by the principle of no arbitrage. But what if the forward price is not equal to the formula F not T is equal to S not into 1 plus R F to the power T. All right. So what if this does not hold? In that case, what we need to do is exactly what we are going to discuss right now. So, say for example, the no arbitrage price is 507.34. What do we, what do you mean by no arbitrage price? The price that we derive from the calculation of S naught into 1 plus RF to the power T. Alright, what if the price the on the basis of no arbitrage principle is 507.34. However, in the market, if the forward contract is trading, the same forward contract uh, is trading at 510 dollars. Alright, so we can see that the forward contract is what? It is overpriced. Alright, why, why, why am I saying overpriced? Because this is the price that is 507.34 is the price which it should be. But here $510 is the price that we, we are able to currently see in the market. Alright, so we are able to see that the market is, uh, the forward market or the forward contract is currently overpriced. The forward contract that we are talking about is a, uh, has a time duration of 3 months. Alright, so in this case you can definitely exploit uh, the arbitrage opportunity that you have gotten. All right, but how exactly we need to do that is something that we need to understand. All right, so whenever the forward contracts are overpriced, the first thing that we need to do is definitely whenever things are overpriced, arbitrage in arbitrage, what really happens is you sell that you sell that thing. All right, whenever anything is overpriced, not just in forward contracts but in real life as well, if any asset class is overpriced, what you do you sell that asset, and if any asset is underpriced, you buy that asset. But here we are able to see that the forward contract is overpriced. So what I'll do here is I'll go short the forward contract. All, all right. I'll enter into a forward contract whereby I'm taking a short position. All right. So that is something that I'll be doing today. All right. That is something that I'll be doing today. I'll take a short position in in the forward contract. Which forward contract? At five one zero dollars. All right. I'll be taking a short position. Now since I have taken a short position, what does it mean? It means that I've agreed to sell. That after three months, I'll be selling you this asset at a price of five one zero dollars, and that is what I've agreed, and that is the position that I've taken currently. All right. So why have we taken a short position? Because we are able to see that that the forward price is forward contract is overpriced. The price currently is five one zero dollars, but the price which it should be is five zero seven point three four dollars. All right. So we have shorted the forward contract. Now in for, uh, in short position, what we have done here is we have to uh, sell the asset. Sell the asset after how many months? After three months. Now, since we have to sell the asset after three months, it is necessary that we have the asset after three months. All right. So to do that, we'll have to buy the asset today. To do that, we'll have to buy the asset today. Now, since we are talking about a no arbitrage principle, we'll not be uh, putting any cash from our pocket. So what do you do here? To buy the asset, you take a loan. All right, you borrow five hundred dollars at what rate? At six percent rate, which is nothing but the risk-free rate. For how many months? For three months, which is our time period. All right, so you borrowed five hundred dollars. So now you have five hundred dollars currently in your pocket, which you have borrowed. All right, and you're going in the market, and today itself at time period zero, you're going and purchasing the asset. All right. So after time period one, what do you have? What positions are open for you? One, you have taken a loan of five hundred dollars uh, at what rate? At six percent rate. For how many months? For three months. Uh, you have, you already have entered into a short position where you need to sell the asset, the asset that you have purchased today at 500. After three months, you need to sell that asset for 510 dollars, irrespective of whatever the price is after three months. All right. So this is the second thing. The third thing is definitely since you have agreed to sell today, you should be having that asset, and with the borrowed money of 500 dollars, you have already purchased the asset today. All right. So these three things you have done. All right. So that I have written it here. So at time period zero, you have borrowed five hundred dollars. So that is something that we have here. Uh, so uh, that is why we have a plus sign here because you are borrowing the money. The money is coming in. That is why with the plus sign. And then you are using that five hundred dollars to purchase the bond. And since you are purchasing the bond or purchasing the asset, I would rather say, all right, I would rather write purchase asset. You are uh, investing five hundred here. So technically, there is no money getting invested. Plus, you are also entering into short forward contract. And for to enter into a short forward contract, you need not pay anything upfront. That is why there is no cash flow coming in or going out. 
third. All right. So that is something that we need to understand. Now the next step is the step two is what happens after three months. All right. What exactly happens after three months? So uh, we have taken a loan for three months. So for that we need to definitely repay the loan. How much amount do we need to repay? Five hundred multiplied by one point zero six to the power three by twelve. All right. This include both five hundred as the principal component plus seven point three four. As your interest component, so you're paying five zero seven point three four as your loan. All right. Now, since you had entered into a forward contract, all right, you're already entered into a forward contract. So now it is your responsibility that you sell the asset. All right, you're already standing a time period three. So now it is your responsibility that you sell the asset. So now, since you're selling the asset, how much money do you? Uh, how much money are you expecting to receive? You're expecting to receive five one zero dollars. All right, you're expecting to receive five one zero dollars. Why you are expecting to receive five one zero dollars? Because you had entered into a short position where you have where you had agreed to sell uh, the asset for five one zero dollars. So you get five one zero dollars. All right, from the forward contract, and you repay the bank how much amount five zero seven point three four. All right. So the difference that is five one zero minus five zero seven point three four. Would be your profit, which would be nothing but I guess two point six six. All right, which would be nothing but two point six six. So what exactly are you doing here? You had taken a loan from the bank, and you are you are supposed to repay the bank how much amount five zero seven point five zero seven point three four. But you are also expected to receive some money from whom? From the person who might have taken the long position in the forward contract. All right, so it, you are receiving five one zero dollars from him, and the difference that you are able to see here is nothing but your arbitrage profit, which you realize at time period. Three. All right. So this is something that you need to understand. This is exactly how things work around. All right. So what you're doing here is at time period one, forward, from the forward contract, you're receiving how much? Five one zero dollars because you had entered into a short uh, short. Uh, you, had, you had entered it as a short uh, position, and uh, you'll also repay the loan, and you need to repay five zero seven point three four. So with the negative sign here and with the positive sign here, the difference is nothing but your arbitrage profit. All right. So this is known as the cash and carry model. All right. Whenever the forward contracts are overpriced, you generally apply this model of cash and carry. And whenever the forward contracts are underpriced, you apply the reverse of it. And that is why we call it reverse cash and carry. So in that, you do the exact opposite thing. So when do when would you do the exact opposite opposite things when the no arbitrage price would have been say for example five one five dollars. All right. In that case, you would have done the exact opposite thing. So this is this is exactly how it works around. All right. So uh, opposite thing in the sense. Instead of borrowing, you'll lend. Instead of going a short, you'll go long. All right. And here, instead of repaying the loan, you'll be receiving the amount. And at the very same time, you'll be using that amount to pay as a long party because you know in that case you would have entered as a long position in the initial contract. So this is how exactly it works around. I'm hoping you guys can work out the reverse cash and carry arbitrage. It's quite simple. All you need to realize is there cannot be a price which is different from this formula given that there are no cost or benefits involved. With the asset that we are talking about, so this is how exactly things work around. I'm hoping that you will be able to work out the uh, reverse cash and carry arbitrage. And in case if you find it difficult, please feel free to reach out. Thank you.